Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $108,203.06. In the past year I am up $36,947.61. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $16,016.30. Today was a red day for me. I was down $1,325.14 during the day. After hours, I am up $65.37. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, I am down $1,233. I'm selling Disney $97 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return $96. I'm selling Google $160 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return, I am down $78. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire September 27th. My total return $243.84. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return $36. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $298. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $5. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire. December 20th, my total return, $260. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th, my total return, $3,720. Sorry, hold on. Yeah, I'm down $3,720. Sorry, just had to double check. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. This expires December 20th. My total return, $1,303. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,200. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $2,176. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $194. My average cost, $176.42. My total return, $5,275.30. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.94. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $14,276.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $92.97. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $10,188. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $162.16. My average cost, $142.48. My total return,
This is a margin account. My margin total is $93,304.73. My margin used is $57,938.59. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $13,366.14 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $37,104.04. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is 9.57%. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. Not much to talk about here. Um, down over $1,000 today, but it's okay. Um, it's only a little over 1% down, so it's not that bad. I've had days where I lost several thousand dollars. Um, so today is not huge considering my portfolio is at the value it's at. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. I do think that um, some of my positions are getting a little too close for comfort. It's getting uncomfortable. Um, considering the strike prices I chose. One example is McDonald's. Now, these call credit spreads. In order to gain max profit, I want McDonald's to stay below 300. And right now it's at 299. $299.19. $299 very, very close to 300. Now, I would like things to go back down. Um, McDonald's, but it's been steadily going up this year. Uh, it's been going up a lot. So we'll see if it uh, goes above 300. If it does, I'll have to adjust, uh, maybe choose different strike prices, maybe further expiration date as well, and roll these two out. Um, something else too is that Amazon and this is good and bad because I am bullish on Amazon and I don't want it to completely crash because I have 300 shares um, in Amazon. However, my spreads. I want Amazon to stay below 200 um, by October 18th to gain the max profit from these spreads. Right now it's a little bit close, 194. So Amazon's at $194.20, so a little bit close to 200 but we'll see. But in that case, since I also have, um, you know, reasons where I want to, uh, the, the price of Amazon to increase, it's not all bad, you know, but in the case of McDonald's, um, I mean, yeah, I do have my put credit spreads, but it's, it's way above 210, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, in this case, I do want McDonald's to go back down, but other than that, we'll not even go back down. I Ideally, it could stay where it's at too, at 299. Technically, I could still make max profit if it stays at 299, but, um, you know, it's a little bit too close. At the time that I opened these, McDonald's was nowhere near, well, I wouldn't say nowhere near. It was definitely lower than uh, you know it is now so I, I was feeling confident then but now it's like it keeps on getting closer and closer to 300 but we'll see that's pretty much it that's all I have to report on and then I have my um, all the covered calls I'm selling expiring pretty soon at the end of this week so once these expire or Maybe I won't even let them expire. Maybe I'll roll them out to um, October, I think, just to align with my other spreads. A lot of my positions, um, well, some of my positions expire on October 18th. So um, if I want to, I could roll them out to that date. Um, but for now, these expire this Friday. All right, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content, you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.